All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome. Welcome to what I hope is going to be an amazing round eight of the uh, online Terraforming Mars League season two. I am Nate. With me, as always, is Nima. What up? And uh, this is a big one. This one's a big one, Nima. Yeah, this is uh, possibly for all the marbles. We'll see. Uh, but if we win this one, we are set to get in the playoffs. If we don't win this one, it's not 100% over, but it's probably over. Yeah, pretty, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Are you ready, Nima? Hit it. Okay, here we go. Let's see what we got. Moment of truth. Yep. It all starts here. Okay. Oh, okay, well, one clear winner here. Uh, oh man <laughs> oh man not looking great um <laughs> <laughs> well um oh. let's see what we're gonna do here so this is screaming ground game to me yeah i mean i the problem here, here's where my inexperience with unmi really shows which is that like it, it might actually be better to play UNMI here. I mean, too. the reason is that we're going to need to standard project some stuff, I think. like Okay, we do have protected halves. So like yeah, if we, we end just... up... Okay. This card's out. This card's out. This is a good UNMI card. Uh... This card's probably out. I mean, I, I guess. Well, look, I mean, like this, oh, there's so many out. plant cards and ground game cards in our hand. I mean, here's the deal, dude. We're going first. I think this is a UNMI. We take release of inert gas. We have standard project in ocean to draw some cards, use the ability. Next turn, we use the ability, play release of inert gases, move towards terraformer and just embrace it. Like Pray. I, <laughs> well, I mean, the other thing is, I mean, these cards are just not good. Like, there's no reason to take these cards. Yeah, I hear you. Um, hired Raiders could be okay. Yeah, I mean, Hired Raiders is not bad. I, it's fine. but and, and Protected Halves is good. I mean, this is, a, yeah. this is a good card for, you know, just this, this whole, you know, it basically puts the other people to fight each other. Um, I mean, it's less good since we're not taking the... If we're not taking the plant cards, dude, I think I think this is the time in our lives where we we take the worst corporation and then <laughs> somehow we win and walk right into round two, dude. Are you fired up for this? If we can pull this off, then we should be um, canonized as legends. Um, all right, so let's say okay. So let's let's just do the math here. So we start off with forty cash. We're gonna take uh, higher graders. Honestly, yeah. like we could even skip. That's fine, whatever. We it's could, fine. but it's generally pretty good. Um, okay, let's just make sure we got the right. I, I mean, I'd, I'd rather say we're gonna be cash poor because UNMI is always cash poor. This is a low impact card that costs us three. I mean, I guess it gets us three back, so it doesn't matter. Okay, fine, it's fine, whatever. You convince me. All right. Uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, so we take that. We take protected halves. We take release of inert gas. That puts yep. us at 31 cash. We standard project on uh, on the cards, and and we bump. I think that's our play, dude. That's when we will have the three money, right? Yeah. Yeah. To, bu to bump. God, what a ugh. The yeah, only I guess the, that's it. the only card, I, the other card I would consider taking here is small animals, which is actually, I mean, this card has potential. It's Maybe. not. It, yeah, yeah, that's the thing. It's like it's just a little speculative. I mean, I think. I mean, would we take would we take Lichen, Food Factory? Like that's not even good. Like basically, we're gonna end up spending no. ten, plus fifteen, so yeah. twenty five credits to get a bump of four. It'll take us. I don't think so. Six generations to get paid off. Like it's just not good. Yeah, it's not. Dude. You and my time. Are you ready? Let us do it. All right. Um, hey, Munson, welcome. All right. Last last thoughts. 
No, I don't know. Just just pull the trigger, dude. All right, just make sure I did it all. All right, here we go. Our path is chosen. <laughs> this is so stupid. All right, let's go ahead. Director and cinematics. Oof. Actually, let's just see our cards here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, mining let's... area. Okay, good. And Marineris, not great, but good card. Should we should we steal some uh, some stuff? Should we steal some steel? I yeah, I guess so. I, I actually I think we should wait just because uh, I'm just gonna do this, whatever. Um, I think we should just wait because we may actually need those three credits because we don't have a card that uses steel right now. Fair enough. All right, that's it. We just uh, kind of came out of the gates. We came out hot, Nima. <laughs> <laughs> If by hot you mean just tepid and stumbling, <laughs> then yes, I agree. Oh, man. Well, that's interesting. Thread, what would you have chosen? You would have chosen just gone with Saturn because it's better? Here's the problem with Saturn, okay, with this hand, in my opinion. Uh, is... Uh, you know how you know how like insta dead we would be if somebody just uh, asteroid mining consortium does on, on turn <laughs> right. two. I mean, it's just like I'm just not into that, and like, God, I, it's just like uh, the risk of just getting completely KO'd. Uh, well, that would have been better for us. Um, all right, I'm passing. Um, what well, did you? Did you not do the the action? I did. Oh, you did do the action. I yeah. missed it. No, I did. I did on the last one. Sorry. Right. Yeah, uh, you you could be right, but like, I don't know. That's a that's a Saturn Systems ground game. I don't I don't know, dude. That's a weird, it's a weird way to go. I mean, we've certainly tried it before and got our butts handed to us. I mean, the problem with Saturn systems is number one, you just you, the KO potential with uh, with just getting ace as for my search is very high. And I mean, it's not a likely outcome, but it's so devastating when it happens. And like the start that we have here, we're gonna have a TR of twenty five on round two. It's not it's not the worst. Um, and good players don't pass Jovians. Oh snap! Oh wow! Well. We don't have much in the way of standard, standard tech would actually be good for us, but no, I, we can't pass AI. No, I agree. We're taking AI. We also really want to tile here so we can get our mining, our mining yeah. thing down. Huh. Uh, wow. He's got 23. He's got 55. So he did nothing. Which way are we passing? Even down. We're passing to Dean Theater. I think I think we just cut immigration shuttles. Uh, consortium's not bad. Shuttles is good for Tractor. It's it's twenty eight credits for five. Yeah, uh, that's series. true. I think I'm just gonna cut it. Like, I don't want to. We're definitely not playing nuclear power. I mean, that's true. Yeah, I'm just gonna cut that. Ooh, black polar dust. Wait, what? I mean, dude, for you and I. Oh yeah, horrible. that's the one case where that card's good. That's right. <laughs> right. It sucks that we don't have a tile. Um, I think we're taking another card here. Prop. Yeah. That's what I would do. Question is, do we? Oh god, that minus two to our economy is so bad. But we do get plus three on our heat, which is which is good. Um, I think we take AI just in case. Yeah, I think so. Um, I think I think we. Man, I mean, I think we're playing it because it, it sets us up for another thing on the next turn. And yeah, I th actually, I, th I think we're doing that this turn and then getting the heat production. I think I think that's yep. what we're doing. Yeah, you, you cool with that? I'm cool with that. All right, so I think given the opportunity, we're gonna play this on on a card. 
What do you think? Yeah, hundred percent. Okay. Okay, standard project power. Interesting. Let it float. A little dangerous. So we play it on a card. I, this is not a horrible UNMI start. We're going to get a bump no. of two here, a bump of two here. Um, and I think that we just hope that one of these other players tries to rush it. And that's it. Trees. Okay. That'll be good, like, 45 generations from now. <laughs> Yeah, the minus two really hurts there. That's that's pretty bad, but yeah, it'll pay off in the long term. I think it's working. You know, we'll get a lot of TR out of it. We really want a tile for this mining area. Yeah, that's gonna that's gonna get out of. I mean, we'll get a tile at some. Ugh, gross. Wow. Well, I mean, anything that causes this game to terraform faster is good. <laughs> I mean, that's just the truth. When you... We're going to go... We're passing, dude. Dude, no yeah. fear, Mima. Anything else to do? We could steal money, but I think we can just wait on that. Um... So we're going to be at 27 on our TR. Not bad. And, and we're going to be close to getting a heat buff if we can figure out a, on the successive turn, if we can figure out how to get a little yeah. more heat. Unfortunately, Mohol was taken, but oh. Would GHG be good? Yeah. We don't um, have power, unfortunately. I think we're taking Neptune Probe. Yeah, we do. We do want science. I mean, the question is: it realistic to get AI going? I mean, it, it may not it, be. It could be a way to a path to victory. Do we care about passing Jovians? Not, n not. I would if it was a multiplier. We're passing up, so we're passing to birds. I mean, he's got the power for GHG. If we give him pretty, I, maybe we just cut GHG. I mean, we might even play it. It's not even bad for us. I mean, that's what I'm saying. We we do need another heat bump of some kind. We want to we let's want take, to get a heat bump every turn. Let's take GHG. You agree? Uh, this is tough. I mean, I I kind of want to get AI AI going, but and we don't even have power right now. But I I don't know. We it's not that hard to get power. I mean, the flip side of that is that it's not even bad if he like starts if he builds a heat engine and like. Fine. I mean, we we want people terraforming, right? Well, the problem is like that's that's sort of counter to the plan of getting AI going, and we we just don't have a lot of cash for Trans Neptune Probe. Like, yeah, you're right. I think we're just taking GHG. Yeah, I think you convinced me. Uh, that's a close one, but I mean, we don't have nine cash to float right now for the right. I mean, with UNMI, you got to play a little different. Oh, hello. Wow. What did we play? Oh, we are UNMI. <laughs> you so we're passing to birds. Let's see here. Uh, he's gonna cut this from Dean Theater. He'll cut. He'll cut Cartel. So I think we can just cut Nitrogen. Okay. Yeah. I mean that's just a good card. We might even. I think we actually just take it. I mean that's that's the that kind means, of. That means Dean Theater passed that all that to us, right? Yeah, it must have been a good wow. card in there. It was a lot of Earth tax for him to pass those. Damn. So the question is, do we take? What do we take out of this draft? I think we take uh, we take the point scoring card because, I mean, who knows? Like Yolo, like maybe we get past some stuff or we open something good. That's a card worth paying a couple of credits on as a as a oh fuel factory. Uh, yeah, cut that. And it sucks to pass colonizer. Who played the uh who played the uh 
It was Gobers that played the Jovian thing, right? He played the, oops, sorry. Played Vesta, and we passed him. We just passed him the other Jovian. But he's got power. I think we just have to cut this. Yeah. It's just too, too efficient. I mean, it sucks passing Jovians, but like, if we lose to Jovians, we lose to Jovians. Like, what are we going to do? Yeah. We're, no. I mean, the, our, the hand is so crappy. It's like, we're going to have to get lucky to, to have a chance here. So. so I think we take Nitrogen, and then the question is, do we take GHG? I think so. I mean, if if we might have to standard project a power, but yeah, I think we do too. I think it's worth it on Gen three. I, the idea being, we're going to try and play it on. Uh, I think the idea being that we're going to try and play it on next turn, essentially, right? So this turn like we're like GHG. That yeah. So I think this turn we're playing. We're going to play release of inert gases. And and bump, and then we're gonna hope we draw cheap power next turn. Although that's not gonna quite get us there. Uh, you're, so pl please use generation or turn. You're confusing me. Well, you know I, mean, I mean, I yeah, I always mean generation. Always. Hey, come on, stay with me here, dude. I, I okay. <laughs> I just messed up. <laughs> dude, don't get all rules lawyer up in my grill. Well, I'm getting all communication lawyer up in your grill. <laughs> you, you, you know, because I'm a really fun guy. Dude. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, God. Yeah, not looking good. Not like this, dude. God, I feel like we've had some tough... Uh, tough... Uh, yeah, that game that we, the game we really needed to win was the one that we lost by two points that was just like... I, I, there's, dude, we did everything we could, I think. Yeah, nah, nah, it's just, um, brutal. We also have not drawn well in this one. Like, we're, we, we needed a tile, like, there's just, like, whatever, but, oh, we really need to get something to terraform next turn, because we're going to be one turn off. We're good for the, sorry, Nima, generation. <laughs> Okay, we're one generation <laughs> off. Thank you, thank you. You're welcome, that. you're welcome. Oh, by the way, do you have any crepe coupon? Why, yes, I do, good sir. <laughs> um, well, dude, what could be better on a Friday night than <laughs> hanging out with my buddy, having a Sunkist? No, we're not sponsored <laughs> by Sunkist. Um, and... Uh, yeah, well, you know, whatever, dude. Getting crushed playing our least favorite corporation in a in the most important TM match of our entire lives. <laughs> Which, on the grand scale of things, means almost nothing to me. Yeah, but oh wait, it's my turn. I guess I have to pass, huh? Oh shoot, that's weird. I thought I passed already. Oh, dude, good good call, Munson. I love key lime pie. That key lime pie is one of my favorites. <laughs> well, you know, if, if if we're gonna have a crappy hand, we might as well have fun doing it. No, for sure. I'm having fun. I mean, it is fun playing you and I. God, we needed that card. That card was oh, great for us. Yeah, that would have been great. Um, it's like, what can you do? What can you do? You got you and a mine, a crappy starting hand. We really need to draw like some sort of asteroid card that lets us terraform. Like if we if we don't get terraformer in this game, we are definitely out. Hundred uh, oh, percent. Research is good. Oh yeah. That gets us a long way to uh, to AI. Yeah, I think it's research there. It also draws us some cards. That's a good draw for us. That, for sure. That gives us some weird back back uh, kind of back road. Whatever I'm trying to say here, back style rear entry. I'm just gonna, <laughs> just gonna let you keep going there, and I, it paid off. All right, we're passing to. 
This time we're passing to Go Birds. So I think we let Go Birds. Uh, he's the one that played the Vesta. We're passing up, right? No, we're passing uh, down. We're passing to Dean Theater. I think we let Dean Theater cut this IO. Although is there, he anything, could, is there anything we want? I don't think so. Yeah, he can actually play it this turn. Here's the problem: is like, no matter what we do, he's gonna get hooked up. So like, I think we just take the Nitrophilic Moss, which is actually a good card, with our particularly with, uh, uh, you know, our protected Habs. Like, yeah. if we could cut IO, and then he, well, there's nothing else that's good. But like, no matter what we do, he's gonna get a good card there. I think we just take Nitrophilic Moss. You're saying Dean Theater's going to get a good card no matter what? Well, yeah. I mean, look, Dean Theater's just a stockpile and cash into Titanium. So both of these cards are, are good for him, you know, potentially. But I think we just take Moss here. Okay. Yeah, we still have not gotten some a either a tile. Oh, here we go. Peroxide Power. That turn, oh, yeah. That's a little... Peroxide rough. power is good for GHG, but it still doesn't get us to our Terraformer action this turn. No. Clearly the pick there, though. That's a, that's a good pickup for us, because it also is the power for AI. It's a little rough, because you're going to go minus three on credits, but oh well. Indeed. That's the game we're playing, Nima. That's the path we chose. Just the old shot in the foot. So let's remember that we've got, let's see here. These guys have steel production. So we have steel. So we can get four credits, pay one, get four credits. So we have three credits here. If we buy three cards, it puts us to, uh, what is that? 20, help me out. 23. 23. Help, help out here. Okay, 23. So we're at 23 plus 3, we're at 26. So we can play GHG and we can play Peroxide Power. And yep. that we have enough money to do that. I think it's probably worth it to do that. We have nothing better to do. Or we just like take, or we play research. I hope I mean, we yeah, we. Well, let's let's get our terraforming engine going first and foremost. I think we're taking these cards. Okay. All right. So we have twenty three cash. So the question is, do you roll the dice on on uh, research, or we play peroxide power and uh, GHG? I think we play peroxide GHG. Do you agree? Yeah, I'm thinking. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Or, or we standard project something and and then passively get the bump on the next one. I actually don't hate that. We could standard project an ocean, get four cash back. That's pretty cheap, actually. Um. I actually think that's fine because next turn we get the bump. It, it just puts things down one generation. It, but like we're still next generation. We're still, well, no, we'll, we'll have a bump next generation. Yeah. Can we do research and how much does the standard project cost? It's, it's going to be, well, it depends on what we do. If we take a bump on heat, it's 14, but this one is 14 for the ocean because we get uh, for cash back. Okay, so then we could play research. There's no need to though. It doesn't do anything. Like because it's true. I think so. The question, Nima, is do we do we go for heat engine here or do we go for cash? The problem is just taking two turns off really sucks, and I we have to get terraformer in this game. Like we, we literally just have to. Like there's no. If, if if Dean beats us to Terraformer, I I will li we will literally one thousand million percent lose. <laughs> okay, well then then let's get it. 
Is there anything what? good about oceans for us? Not really. I guess it turns on nitrophilic moss. Yeah. Gets us some money back. I mean, we could put the ocean, it costs us four more cash, but we could put the ocean on some plants. Mm. Actually, maybe that's worth it. Okay, let's think here. So we go, we go 18, that takes us to five. Then we play, now it doesn't, we're one shy because this will get us three cash back. So then four, then seven. So we're one card, we'd be one card short. Oh, Dude, and, it, we, and we wouldn't be able to bump. Also, we don't have protected halves down. Yeah, the idea would just be to play this card, which gets rid of two of our plants. I see. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of like on the fence here. Like having an engine on turn four is obviously good. It's just like it costs us three cash because we're going to get minus one here and we're going to lose two bumps off our TR. I just I think the better play is just to take the ocean. Okay, do it. All right. You okay with that? I guess. I don't freaking know. I'm not good at you, am I? Yeah, I'm not either. But I think the other thing that all, honestly, the other thing about this Dima is that we're edging into planner now. Like, how many cards do these guys have? Five. Oh, interesting. And 10. He's got 10. We're going to be out of position for planner, actually, for birds. But um, there is a back, we have a back door entry, rear entry. into planner that's the card we needed this time dang that would have been good well it was a little bit expensive yeah but... yeah we couldn't have played that we, we cannot lose terraform in this so i'm glad we did that that's that's it keeps us a little bit ahead and we should be in better position to take it because he's not going to be at 35 next turn we'll be at 31 so then after that, we'll have priority for the rest until the thing is scored. Now you never know. He might draw like Demos or something. We need to just like sprint to the finish on this one. That's for sure. <laughs> Indeed. So they have a, every other player has heat going, which... That's good. It's gonna it's gonna mean the heat track's gonna finish quick. Yeah, I mean that's good. Dude. I mean we we want it to. We want this game to end on nine. If I had my druthers, Nima. Yeah, let's get you your druthers. Dude, if it were up to my druthers, what is a druther? <laughs> I, I was just thinking that. I don't you, you just love all these dumb English uh, idioms? I think they exist in every language, don't you? Yeah, they do. My favorite is German, where they have like all the compound words that are so funny. They're like, <laughs> sure. <laughs> they're like, they're like ten words. Yeah, exactly, and they mean literally what they are. Boys for children, Kinder <laughs> something, you know. <laughs> oh, 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 oh man. <sighs> Well, <laughs> I think we just cut Ganymede. If we had chosen uh, Saturn, I know, we... right? <laughs> well, here's the deal. Actually, because these are both in, the, it, I mean, I think we actually could just take herbivores. Like, right? I mean, the thing is, like, we if we cut one, then what? You're right. So we're going odds up. So we're passing to birds. He's the one that has, uh, yeah, he's the one that has Vesta. I, th I think you're right, Nate. Like, no matter what, we're passing a Jovian. Yeah, so I think we're just, the the mayor isn't, like, really a factor right now. Nobody seems to be rushing that, so I don't think it, it matters for that. I think we just take herbivores. Is arrow breaked any good for us? I don't think so. We just don't, we don't have, like, a micro bumper. Like, if we had something that those microbes could be used, I mean, you might even be able to convince me, but I, I think we're just cutting herbivores there. Oh, snap, media group. I do like media group. That's good. It, is it? Yeah, it's great on hired raiders immediately, and, I mean, it's just a good card. Absolutely. It is a, it is a good card. No, media group is a, media group's a big game. 
Um, Trap Resort's great later. It's not bad later. I think we're probably too crimped on cash for that, though. Like, let's see here. Or, I mean, do we want to hold on to it for later? I mean, that's... It's pretty big. I mean, I don't know. It's not... Not that big. I think we're winning this game by building up some kind of the amazing engine that we're building right now. Um, do we let, I think we, I don't even think we care to, if, if somebody gets a bumper going, like, it's like, we want the game to end fast. Like that will help. Yeah. Yeah. Or, so trap resort anyway, I think it's trap resort. All right. Um, yeah, I'm going to need to speed up just a little bit. I don't want to be stressed at the end. Although there's, you know, yeah, probably not. I'm definitely taking media group. Um, so what are we doing this turn? We have the heat bump, and then I think we're turning on our heat engine this time. Yeah. So we're going to go... Uh, and that'll give us another heat bump next turn. Yeah, so we're going to do peroxide. Or maybe we research this turn. Actually, research is not that bad. Like We could just heat bump, take the thing... We'd be at 14 cards if we take this. We take, um, we research up to 15 cards, take Terraformer Planner and just see what we get. I don't hate that. Okay. Herbivore well, is like, I don't think we, I just don't think we yeah, have. This is a no. I think we take these two. So that puts us at 13 cards. Then we play research, which takes us to 14 cards. And then next draft we take two and fun planner. So I like that play. What do the other turn players have for cards? Well, this guy has three. He's got eleven. So or no, that's us. He's got eight. <laughs> no, I okay. think we're good. Okay. Yeah. Good. All right. So this turn we're going to we're going to Question is, do we fire off the research? That's the question. Like, it's eleven credits. I, I, well, I don't think so. I think we do that like when we're trying to get planner. That's do you know good. what I mean? Like, we we have other things to do this generation. You guys have a bump. Well, everybody's got a bump right now. That's what I'm saying, man. Yeah. Who's gonna blink first, Nima? Yeah, I know, right? I think I think we research. Why? Or do you want to You want to do the pro? You no, know, because see the thing is, if we do the peroxide power thing, oh, he took it. Oh, okay. All right, that makes sense. All right, well, that makes it easier. We can we can just. I, I mean, look, like if we if we play our heat down, then we'll have. We'll have a heat bump next turn. That's a that's a strong argument, but then we might lose out on planner, right? Because, I mean, probably not. Actually, he's at ten well, cards. He's at five. Yeah, you're probably right. We're, yeah, we won't lose out on. Planner. So wait, okay. So if we play if we play those two cards, Then we get up to 33 next turn, and we are in the driver's seat. I don't hate that, Nima. I don't hate that. So we play... I guess my other question, is a, is a heat engine still good at this point? Like, it, it would get us up to seven. It's good because we need a UNMI bumper. Yeah, I agree with you. The tags are out there. That's just a lot of money to invest right now for something which is. Well, oh, but the problem is you playing playing research is not even an investment. Well, that's the problem. I mean, but unless we draw something that's good, but I'm. It would have to be good and really cheap. I you think know, you've. I, I think you've convinced me. I think it's. So we invest 18 into that, 18 credits plus more because it's minus one. 
But then we're going to get, and this game's going to go nine generations. So we'll get, now let's say 10. Let's say it goes 10 generations. Then we're going to, it's going to take us up to seven. So we'll get probably three bumps out of it, plus the UNMI triggers for free on those turns. Or, or we go uh, research and just swing for the fences. This is certainly a more reasonable play. And, and I think the thing that gets the kicker on it is that it gives us the bump next turn. I, that's pretty good. You've convinced me. You ready? Yeah. Do it. Just let's just, I mean, who needs money production, dude? <laughs> really? I mean, our, our TR is our money production. Where are you, NMI? Dude, who needs money production in this game? <laughs> and Dean Theater is really keeping up there with the, the TR. Got a lot of production going. The thing is, though, is they have a lot of production, but they, they've also been terraforming, which. I think it's weirdly not I think it's actually plays to our advantage. But they could slow down any at any moment. Not like we're <laughs> Great. I love it. <laughs> it wasn't me this time. God. <laughs> Ugh. Hate that card. Hate that card with a passion. Since we pass, I'm going to take the opportunity to go grab uh, grab another beer. Be right back. All right. Well, chat, how would you how would you rate Nemo's play so far in this match? I'm just curious. You're welcome to throw a you're welcome to throw a letter grade in there. Nemo will love that when he comes back. All right. Eleven out of ten, perfect. Um, well, we don't really need the power at this point. It's a little late for a titanium mine. We don't have any ways to, well, no, we do have imported nitrogen for um, nitrite reducing bacteria, but we're also pretty crimped on cash. This does raise our TR. That actually would solve our problem next turn. Like we could play that this turn. Is that the so, one that starts with three microbes on it? Yeah. Um, I actually don't hate nitrate, although passing media archives is pretty annoying. That card just generates a lot of cash at the end of the game. We have no ways to use it, though. Ugh, it's gross. But I, I think nitrite's good for us be, because we have, um, we've got imported nitrogen, so we're going to get another bump out of it. And next turn is going to be awkward because we're going to be at, oh, no, we're going to, if we don't spend this energy, we actually have a bump every turn now. Actually, that actually is solid. I just realized that, Nima. Yeah, good point. Um, uh, I mean, Titanium it, Mine is just not that good anymore. Like, it's 10 <laughs> credits. It's going to take three generations to get any money out of it. Like, I, yeah. I think it's, it's either Archives or Nitrite. And I like Nitrite. If we're I mean, going hard TR, then maybe, yeah, maybe. Actually, I mean, we have a bump every turn. We could just take media archives and hope that we just, like, it's just a way to have some cash at the end of the game. I could see that really, really kicking butt at the end of the game. You want to just take that? Sure. I mean, we're also incentivized. I, I don't know. That's a tough pick. But, ooh, immigrants. Ooh, ah, there's some good stuff in here. Fish. Fish is, fish is I think fish is going to be good. It's going to be great in this game. Immigrant city, it doesn't look like anybody's putting cities down. We are going to need cities, and that does also turn on our uh, mining rights. I know, that's just been sitting there. We don't have any more power generators. Uh, yeah, fish is going to turn on pretty early in this game. 
I think we take fish here. We are going to need to play a city at some point, but I like fish. Are you cool with that? Yep. Immigrant's not the greatest city anyway. Okay, well, here's uh, power. Yeah. Very expensive power. Yeah, it's good, though. I mean, it's, sponsors at this point is like whatever. Yeah. Um, it is a little expensive, but it's pretty good. I mean... So for sure fish, for sure media. Well, we know we picked the right car to pick wheels. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So if we're going to get... Oh, oh we, we, can we get a uh, planner? We, we don't need to right now because we're in the pole position here. I think we're good. We're good for both. So basically, yeah. um, we're going to take fish. That's going to be great. The question is, is media archives going to give us back more than 11? I don't know. I mean, like we need to, we'd have to spend yeah. 11 credits and it crimps us now. I mean, we have no discounts. Um, That's a good point. Right now the tags are at like two, three. It's gonna, it's, it's gonna probably perform reasonably well, but like, I don't think we actually need nitrite. Um, I think I'd rather take tech stress because it's more likely that we're going to need power. And research will get us those tags too. I could see taking these three. And then we research, take planner. These three will take us to 14 uh, where we one shy, but we can just get it next turn. It's not a, it's not a rush. Yeah. What about nitrite? Do we take so it? So nitrite's going to get us maximum, what, two points or two bumps? Well, we'll get another bump with uh, imported nitrogen. Oh, okay. So that's that's interesting. It, the only the only way to, the only, re, we, we should only take this card if we're going to play it this turn. But if we take, I, I think I'd rather just take these three cards and see, and save a little money for, Next draft. Okay. I, I, yeah, I don't know. Nitro, I can't. Nitro could 14 be good. Points for, 14 yeah. points for two points. We just It's too speculative. It's right? too expensive. All right, I'm going to take these. Okay. If we, needed the, if we needed a bump this turn, then I would have taken it because it would have gotten us right. there. But we don't. We have right. it. So. I'm with you. So, setting this game up, did you think we'd be playing UNMI? Did you see that coming? <laughs> no, I certainly did not. <laughs> you know, uh, Lake Marineris might be good for us in this game, too, the way the heat's rising. Oh, I know. All right. All right, so next turn. Question is, Nima, do we I like do we play anything right now? Um I don't, I don't think so. The only card that we would play would be research. And honestly, we I don't think AI is what we're doing in this game. Like it's it's just not I think we're most likely to try and hedge into some ground game here. So next next generation, we're going to, I think we're just going to sp spend taking milestones. Let's see, builders out, terraformer we got, mayor there's nothing, gardener there's nothing. So I think we're set for two milestones here. Um, so I think we just pass here, take our milestones and move on with our lives. Mm, I wasn't a hundred percent sure about that, but really, I, I mean, I just think that we're, we're better off next turn. We'll go ahead and take our milestones and then we will, uh, see like, then we'll craft out a game plan I, but with the cards that we have and see what we got. I mean, like if we had ever found a tile for mining rights or something, then that would have been one thing. Yeah. We never got it. Yeah, there wasn't much. 
Hmm. Interesting. Got six. All right, how are we doing on awards? He's got five. We have the most heat production. So looking at thermalist. We don't have any um, tiles. Yeah. We're going to be able to start bad. getting a, a plant engine going because we have uh, trees. Trees is going to be awesome in this game, actually, Neiman. Hell yeah. And I think we're going to get shoot, be able to shoot off Lake Marineris for full value. The way this is looking, I we, we're going to have a high TR rating in this game. This this is shaping up to be uh, Dees. Oh, convoy! Hello, hello, convoy. That's I that's, think that's I think we got to take it. Absolutely, that card's ba baller. We have the fish. So we're at fourteen cards. We need to. We're going to take that one for sure. We've got a lot of cash now. We do need to get a city on the board at some point because we are going to be playing some plants in this game. Agreed. A media group is going to be good in this game. I think we made the right call on media archives too. I think that's going to be good for us. Ooh. Maybe take energy tapping so someone doesn't take ours. Dude, 1 million percent agree with you, sir. Um, okay, invention contest, nice. Yeah, it's good. We definitely don't yeah. need that. We got a huge yeah. heat engine. Invention contest is good because we have the media archives, so it doesn't cost us much. Um, cost us essentially a card and gives us some selection. I wonder if this is possible, Nate. Do you think this is possible? <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> I, I mean, this is how you and I, teases you because you get such a high, uh, you get such a high, you know, whatever that you're like, oh, we could, and then you realize you have zero points, and then like, <laughs> I, I will tell you this though, these milestones are going to be big if we can, if if we're able to lock these up. That's uh, what I'm saying, yeah. man. We're not taking. Feel, it certainly doesn't feel hopeless. We're not taking any chances with these milestones. I'll tell you that. No. We're going to fund them both right now. So, okay, so we're going, to, we're going to spend 16 on milestones here, and then what? Take a look at awards. Landlord, no. But we're going to be a dark horse on... We're going to be a dark horse on that. Oh, we just said minor, okay. Hope those guys fight each other. Banker. Oh, definitely, definitely a strong contenders and banker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's too funny. I mean, Thermalist seems like our best and only chance. Yeah, I don't think we're funding that. I think, I think we're going to let those guys fight for awards and we're going to just focus on our game now. So we're on Gen 7. Man, it would be awesome if we could get trees active this game, this turn. That might happen, actually. We should have played slower, but... Well, we also really want to get Moss going as soon as possible. Good draw. And these guys are just crushing us on economy, but I don't think I have ever funded two milestones on one turn. And you've never lived until you've funded I... three milestones in one turn, Nima. <laughs> have you actually done that? <laughs> it's impossible, Nima. Yeah, I know. <laughs> don't pretend. No, don't pretend. Don't pretend that you. <laughs> You, I, you thought unicorns were real, dude. I know you did. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, dude. What are we doing now? So do you want to fire? Why don't we do media group and we can just start firing off some of these events? Like do invention contest and... Uh, 
see what cards we get. I mean, there's nothing that we really want to play right now. So I like it. We can get kind of get some money piled up and like ideally we'd figure out a way to play nitrophilic moss. So if we can somehow string into a card that gives us right. a couple plants or yeah, if we can slow roll it a little bit. Uh, do, do, do they have heat bumps? Um, yeah, somebody has a heat bump. But do both. All right, I'm going to go ahead and play media group here, okay? Okay. And I'm going to fire off this... Uh... Wait, 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 slow, slow roll, slow roll. Okay. Oh! Oh, damn! Whoa. Yes! Yes. Yes. Dude. I take Dude. back my slow roll comment. Well, the reason about that, everybody's playing two actions. I don't want to turn it into that. Like, I, I don't know. What? I'm, okay. Dude, I'm being nice, dude. You're the one that hates that. Uh, yeah, but it could really benefit us. Yeah, I don't think it's going to get us there, though, because we're one off on... We're going to get it next turn, unfortunately. Builder is uh, purple. Wait, no. Builder is green. Cinematics. All right, dude. So um, do these guys have any money? You want to steal some steel? Steal some steel. We don't really have a need for steel, unfortunately. Maybe just cash. Um, well, if someone has some steel and they're low on cash, that could be a funny thing to do. What do you think about firing off research? To what end? Okay, so we're going to play Viral Enhancers. That's going to take us to three tags. It turns on AI. I guess we don't really need it, but it, it, it draws us two cards. I mean, we have a we don't have a lot to do right now. I guess the other thing is we could just pass. I mean, Ooh. AI is pretty intense right now to get down. And viral gives us a plant. We're one short. AI also takes away our power. Remember that. Yeah. We are going to have a lot that we want to do because I think next turn we're going to get to zero. Like, look, all yeah, everybody I've... has, he's got a heat bump, he's got a heat bump, we have a heat bump. So yeah. we're, here's, I think, here's what I think, Nate. Like, I, I think we start moving into plants pretty heavy now. I don't think we do AI. That's just my opinion. I agree with you. So in which case we're just not going to do research. So... I agree, because we're going to want to play trees, and we're going to want to play Marineris next turn. So that means that means we're going to save cash, and I right. th and then why don't we just hit? We could just hire raiders now and just build up some gas. No, I, I would say save that for next generation because we're going to need ways to um, delay. Dude, dude, look at you, Nima! <laughs> look at you! Look how smart you are! <laughs> Sir. That's that's true. That's a good play. We're gonna get into the old waiting game next turn. Man, maybe I need to drink more during our streams. Man. I think it's birds, dude. I mean, I think with viral enhancers, it, it it totally it's gonna hose somebody's plants if they get them. We don't want our own plants hosed. It does suck that oxygen's gonna be the last thing going. You could I, make a I, case for permafrost extraction. It's just cheaper. I was gonna say permafrost. I don't think birds birds is gonna be really late in this game. Yeah, but it's like an automatic two point. I I, I don't know. I just don't want someone to hit our plants with it. Yeah, that's true. I, that's I think I'm just going to take it, dude. Okay. The other thing is that there are ways that you can... The, oh, Cupola. That is a good draw for us. Yes, that is perfect. Okay, so Cupola is great. Got mineral depo deposits good, too, but we're definitely taking Cupola. Okay, so now we have a way to get a city on the board. Oh, snap. Heat trappers? Are we heat trapping? Uh... 
No. Really good with Cupola. We have to keep this power. Yeah, uh, that's it's true. It's so much cheaper than playing tech stress but power. Dude, but dude, Heat Trappers was minus two heat. <laughs> no, no, on someone else. Oh, that's a red. Got it. Um, it's not great, but like... <sighs> it's really not. I don't know. It's it's. We can't pass it, though, because we can't have somebody heat trapping us. So I'm, I'm just going to pass the search for life. If people have it, they have it. It sucks, but uh, like we're our game is so not dependent, but it's such a good engine for us getting the two bumps per turn. Okay, so land claim is essentially free. We have media group. We're definitely taking cupola. We have fifty four cash. We want to spend how much? Twenty eight thirty one. We want it, We have things to spend for thirty one. Um, actually, we want to play Enhancers, too, and we want to play Nitrophilic Moss. We have a lot that we want to do this turn. So I think, let's see, 9, 8 is 17, plus 13 is 30, 48. We have 48 cash that we want to spend, plus 3 for the bump, that's 51. I think we're just taking Cupola. We're going to get a little cash back with Raiders, but I, I think we're taking, this is going to be a huge turn for us. I, so I think we take Cupola. Okay, like yeah, I trust your math. All right, and then like you said, we're gonna we're gonna slow roll a little, although we have a lot to do. I mean, that's not a bad thing, like unless it's uh, we'll figure out if there's anything time sensitive. Yeah, we also want to get protected Habs down, although it's it's less of an yeah. issue, less of an issue right now. Next turn is better, but yeah. Because as soon as we play Marineris, we're gonna have four plants right. that we're gonna to want to protect. Question right. is, can we can we protect them? Do we have enough? I think we're gonna shoot off hired raiders for cash. That'll give us six credit. That's give us five credits back. That actually allows us to play protected halves and do all this stuff. Oh wow, that's a good play for him. So we want to make sure that we get full value out of um Lake Marineris. So if somebody has Asteroid, that's annoying. We did pass the cheap uh, ocean. I think we can take one turn here. I think we can take one turn and play Higher Graders Protected Habs. Did, well, slow roll it, right? Yes. No. <laughs> yes. Yes. No, no, we can't. I just don't want to, I don't want to miss out on those oceans. That's a huge card for us. So It'd be really annoying if like this guy played the ocean and this guy played asteroid. We got we got kind of beaten out on it. Well, the big science payoffs have come out mostly. Yeah, here come the uh, oceans. Uh, and we want that Marineris. <laughs> okay, yeah, so he, months and I know. I think we're okay. So he uses heat. He's got a heat bump. We have a heat bump. The question is, he's got twenty-one cash and four titanium. I, dude, I think we have to. We have to fire off the. I think we just play Marinara's protected hats right now. This is a baller play for us, dude. It's four points. It's cheap. It terraforms. It gives us four plants. It's like, this is this is sick. And then we just play protected halves to protect it. Okay. So let's go. It's three plants, actually, because I think we should take the cash. Yeah, I think so. We're definitely playing that one there. I think we just maybe we just play this one over here actually. It, I don't want to put it here, it just gives them too good a spot for it. All right, and then we're gonna play protected tabs here. For what capital? What not oh no, for, just ice, for his, his plants and stuff. Okay, so we go next we're gonna take our heat bump and activate our ability just so that we don't lose that on heat in case somebody has demos down or something like that. So yeah, we I we're past needing any more heat bumps then, right? We are. So we could play tropical resort, but dude, we have a stacked hand right now. Nina, I know. Because look, fish. We're gonna go. Actually, no. This is great because we can actually play cupola. 
So plantation. Okay. I mean, it's it's actually really good for us that everybody's terraforming because that's our only chance. There's a four BP. All right. So we're gonna take the heat bump and we're gonna take our we're gonna take our uh, UNMI activation. Priorities right now are all the plants. Yeah. And oh, we have fish is online now too. That's we have saying, so man. much to do all of a sudden. All right, fish I'm gonna I'm gonna nice steal stuff. I'm gonna steal cash from these guys too. Dude, this is exciting. You in my hand. <laughs> Exciting and UNMI often go in hand. That was a joke. Yes, I we understood. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Um, this game was fun. I was going to say, even though we're, we, you know, here's the tease with UNMI. We're like, we're doing this. We're doing that. We've got this. We've got that. And then, like, you lose by 20 points. You know, it's like, <laughs> okay, you know. <laughs> well, it sure looks like, yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> This cupola is going to be awesome for us, though, because we needed a city. In fact, I think we should play it down here. Just Well, no. maybe we take it over here. Nah. Maybe yeah. play it here. This is a good spot. It's kind of protected. It gives, gives us some good plant rebates. Kind of cuts off yellow. Wow. Well, what's, what's that? Is that capital? This is a good spot, too. It's got some card draw, but I, this one might be good. It's pretty protected. Wait, is that capital in the top right there? No, that's a restricted area. That's the card drawing one. Oh, okay. It's, it's, In any case, it cuts off yellow. Dude, protected halves is going to be awesome for us in this game, actually, because we, it, it's going to allow us to stockpile plants and stuff. For once, we have it. I know. It's been a long time. So, man, Viral Enhancers is insane. That was such a good card for us. So I think what we can do is just play all our plant generators now, Wait till next turn to play Cupola and start actually unloading the plants. We actually do want to get fish down. I was going to say, I, I would play viral fish and any plant producers we can. Uh, the purple thing, too, is he's he's got one plant production. <laughs> 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 like, we could have not had it. That's a good point. Um, all right, so... What awards, awards what awards are gonna be fun to hear? Okay, so Baker is terrible for us. Scientist also not good. Thermalist, probably not awesome for us either if we're gonna, you know, start using this power and taking tropical resorts. It's stuff. our only it's our only hope. Landlord. We kinda of hope that somebody funds landlord and then we just storm back. That's actually true. Landlord we might be able to back end into. We're gonna, sure. Yeah, we, we could be okay on landlord. Dude, when you when you left, I asked people to rate your play so far in this game, <laughs> and they said eleven out of ten, right here. Benny Yaka one said eleven out of ten, dude, and then somebody else said Ajunafa said S. Ah, uh, rank S. Red pacifist S tier. If the goal is entertainment, oh snap. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I just want to cite the rule, uh, OTML rule 4.2, <laughs> the NEMA rule. Hey, man, that's what I'm here for, entertainment and stupid plays. Um, it's the NEMA rule, dude. Here, hold on a sec here. Where, here we go. Here we go. Rule 4.2. This is in the official NEMA, in the official OTML Discord, rule 4.2, the NEMA rule. That's, that's um, the rule that allows me to have a co-pilot. <laughs> All right, knock this. Oh. All right. 
All right, so I'm going to go ahead and take our heat bump, and I'm going to go ahead and take that. All right, so we're going to go viral. And, oh, shoot, I was going to take his money. forgot about that. I actually want to do that. Um, so we're going to go viral enhancers. Can we use the steel? I don't think so. All the plays that we want right now are nitrophilic moss, trees, viral enhancers. So that's, and oh, actually cool. if fish, if we can afford it, but I don't think we can. So it's nine, the so 13 and eight is what, 21, 30. Well, we don't have 30. We do not. Um, so, so I think we're gonna go ahead and shoot off this, uh, this gives us some cash back here, six cash back or five cash back. Let's go ahead and do that on, uh, I don't know, whatever. Not on us. <laughs> well, okay. So we've got 32. Let's go ahead and play. I mean, I think the priorities for us are viral enhancers trees and nitrophilic moss, right? I mean, sure. Yeah, viral is one of those oh crap cards that you just can turn the game around. So trees and moss, that's going to be 21. And then we would need, in order to play fish, we would need to sell seven cards or we could play a plant. I don't think we have an, uh, anything on the board. We could play a plant here for six cash. That so is let's, sick. let's play. We could also try and fire off media archives, but let's play trees. So how many how many uh, tags are there? Three, six, five, eleven. So Media Archives gives us a net of three. It's not great. If we, okay, so what if we play? I would wait on it. Unless we desperately need it, I would wait on it. If we play Moss, we get to play a plant. So we could play Moss, play a plant here. That would give us eight. And we could sell one card and play Fish. The, the thing is we float. We're floating this city, yeah. but it's actually not bad. And like, if somebody wants to play a city there, like if the only person that could do it would be birds, like fine, then we'll just play Kubala and come over here. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I think we do. It's a whole point. I, I think it's good. We're definitely doing this. The, down, do this. the downsides are really, really bad though. They're not, that's what I'm just saying. Oh wait, oh, we, oh I forgot. We didn't have the plants anyway. Because <laughs> we had to use two plants. I forgot about that. <laughs> Uh, the downsides were not that bad, but um, well, no. Like if look, look, if we play a plant there, someone takes it from us. Not that big of a deal, but all right. So you're right. So okay. So now we're gonna go. We're gonna just go to the next turn. What do you think, dude? Uh, well, apparently, you didn't care what I think, so I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick. Well, we didn't have any money. That was the issue. Oh, snap. Decomposers. I wish we had had that last turn. We don't have that much more, but we do have imported nitrogen for a point with it. You think so, Thread? Maybe. It would, it's looking better to do it the other way now, that's for sure. God, the thing is... Good capital spot, and these guys have a lot of titanium or steel just sitting around. Which way are we passing? Odd up. Passing the birds. Got infinite power. Do not want to pass capital. We have the most dangerous card for decomposers. This card's not going to be amazing for us now, although I do love decomposers. Is 
really just don't want to pass capital. Like instant three points, not that good. I mean, so. I'm going to cut that. That could be a mistake. What do you guys think? I just didn't want to pass that to those people. Um, Earth Office. I've got two, two cards for Earth Office. Three. Three cards for Earth Office. <clears throat> um... Okay, capital and earth office, huh? Well, I picked, uh, it was a tough pick. It was capital over decomposers. But the thing is, these guys Ooh. just have so much money and capital is just three points. And this guy's got like infinite steel. He's looking for outlets. He's only got three cards. So I just didn't want to pass it. And at this point, um, uh, we don't have that many tags coming back. Whoops. So I'm going to take earth office. The question is, we have three cards to play with earth office. The question is, would we play capital? And it's a possibility. Do we need the question is do we need two cities? Well, we have high plant production now. Like we're gonna generate a lot of plants. And I mean, imagine a yeah. capital. I mean, it's I think it's not bad for us. I mean, we have to boost our power, which is a little uh, annoying, and it is expensive, right. but and we have a we have some cool things to do here, but I think it's not unreasonable to take it as a just a. I mean, we have large convoy though. That's the thing. But what what about large convoy? I'm just trying to imagine how we're going to spend our money now. I I don't hate taking capital. It's really expensive. Yeah. Like really expensive because we don't have the power. Wish I could look at the board right now. Um, that's awesome. Um, I mean, the, the natural spot would be here, which would put us cupola here, and then these two. So, like, here's the thing we take capital, we'd ideally want to play it this round, but do we have any power to use to do it? Let's just take it, Nima, and then we'll figure it out. I, I don't. We don't have a lot of time. Mm, Equal, it's, no, it costs no. us two credits if we sell it. I mean, it's like whatever. Okay, whatever. Um, so let's think about this. So we definitely. Oh, he's going to take the last heat pump, regretfully. Um, so I think our lead play here is going to be to get Cupola down. Oh, he, he gave us the last heat bump. We flooded Whoa. Thermalist. Whoa. Yeah, he's crushing Thermalist. Yeah, I think we take this last heat bump. That's good for it's us. It's two points for us. Yeah, okay. Let's do that. And then um, what do you think about... Okay, so if, if we're going to think about playing Capital at some point, like we, we could play... Yeah, maybe there's just no role for capital, but like, where, where, where do you want to place Cupola up? Here, basically? Or no? I, I like. Um, I mean, if we're not going to play capital, which I don't know if we are or not, but if we're not, just play it in the place we were going to play it so we get six money back. And then take that away from someone. We could play Cupola here. It's like a weird spot, but like... Yeah, it would just, uh, well, I don't know. That spot is just so nice for the money. Do, what do, we, do we have anything power-wise in our hand? We've got the uh, tectonic Extras. stress power, but we're, we're not close to it. I, I think we just have to play, we have to assume we're not going to play capital, and if it works out, then we play. I think we play Cupola here. Here's why. We play these two things here. This is an undesirable spot for somebody to put a city anyway. And then at the end, 
if we just have some extra cash, we can just plop this down for four points. Like that's pretty good, right? Because we're gonna if we play Cupola, we can play things out to here, right? Yeah, I think that's okay. a good play. So let's just play Cupola here. That's reasonable. Okay. Um, hey, Garth. Welcome, man. So um, they thought everybody thought that we should have played uh, um, fish instead of uh, the plant maker, which oh, is kind of weird. Like I think the plant maker was good there. Like, but I, I respect everybody's. Opinion. No, they're both they're both good, of course. But I, I I kind of agree. I want fish down. Why didn't you say that, dude? I, I did say that. <laughs> oh god. Okay, no, I thought for a second I thought it was coming down here, but there's no thing. Okay, so we're gonna take our bump. We're gonna play a bunch of plants. Or we're gonna play a thing. Get our thing. Our thing. Um, we're gonna get our fish on. We're gonna take we, our bump. And we have the convoy, man. That convoy is gonna be. The truth, dude. The truth. Look at you. Don't don't let me forget to play Earth Office before we do all this other stuff. <laughs> I'm just gonna play it, dude, because like I'm gonna forget. Viewer, dear viewers, here's the problem with the statement that Nate just said. My the screen sharing Nate is giving me is like two frames a second. Like I'm I'm only slightly exaggerating. It's terrible. So if Nate's moving fast, there's almost nothing I can do. Yeah, dude, that's annoying, that, that mofo. What, come on. That sucks. It's like, okay, great. We're playing the shittiest corporate. I'm sorry. Oh, you're going to have to beep that out, dude. <laughs> I'm not beeping it out. <laughs> We're already playing with like a huge handicap. It's like, okay, whatever, dude. Got us. That's also, just... also I, I would not... I also would not at all be surprised if we ended up third. <laughs> it's like, come on. Uh, yeah, I don't know. You, you see like a 42 TR and you, it's easy to, it's easy to think that that person's ahead. Like that you've been saying over and over again. Yeah. All right. <laughs> this is a Christian planet. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So let's go. We're going to play. Oh, dude. Can I hit this guy's? Oh, yeah, I'm definitely hitting your plant production. That's what's happening. I didn't even <laughs> care if Dean Theater had one. I would come after birds now. <laughs> no, Nate, go for the win. Always go for no, the win. No, no, it's not what's happening, Nima. Um, okay. This game, do you think it could possibly end next turn? No. No way. Play the Earth Office here. And then I'm going to go um, fish. Fishies. Um, Not us. <laughs> I know, I always have to do that. <laughs> That's a good draw for us. Um, all right, so... What else do we want to do this turn? Do we want to... I don't think we want a tropical resort anymore because we want to let that heat build up so that we try and get... Yeah. Um, we can uh, wait, wait, wait for the last moment to try to do that. That might let him catch up to us. That's annoying. Because now he's got six and we have zero. We both have seven. Dude, that's annoying. So one thing I'm thinking about is like, do we have any any solid way to boost TR anymore? I guess the plants is our kind of best bet. Yeah, plants. Is yeah, how plants we do. are plants are really good for that. Um, that's actually a little bit of a gut gut shot right there. Like getting getting second on, you know, preventing some points there on the thermalist is going to be good for us. 
Uh, I don't think we're doing anything else right now. Yeah, I think that's it, huh? Seems like it. Um, maybe we just drop. Um, and let's see what we get. If we get a cheap power generator, we could just drop the capital down. Hmm. I don't hate the capital here. The only problem is like I, I want to play uh, plants here before so that we don't get urbanized area, urban, air, urban air, urbanized area there. Like how many I mean, more, how many more plants? Be. How many more plants are we gonna have in this game? Probably not more than four. So if we plan to play capital here and we get four plants around it. There would be a danger of someone taking a lot. This, this game is going to end next turn, dude. Yeah. Yeah, this game's ending next turn, I think. One, two, three, four, five. You think there's going to be six plants played? Yeah, we've got one passively. He's got one passively. We've got uh, Convoy and Nitrogen. I guess it doesn't have to just be plants, but... I think the game's ending next turn. And in fact, I think we should do everything we can to make that happen. Sure, yeah, I agree, but... How many cards do these guys have? He's got eight cards, he's got two cards. Hmm. Power plant. Ooh, actually, mining expedition. That's awesome for us, actually. It's Wait. we have it's media archives. It costs us twelve. Yeah, that's a good card, and we'll, okay. it, it will almost it, it will allow us a lot of control over whether this game ends. Dude, let's start tab tabulating points. Um, <laughs> wow, fusion power. Yeah, that's the one. Well, we actually actually probably just this one. Why? Because these guys have a ton of titanium and. This requires two tags, like they probably can't play it. Got one. Got three, but he's not uh, I think we just whatever. I think we just take that one. Okay. Um it it doesn't matter. So let's let's do some math. Oh, energy saving. No, that sucks. <laughs> I'm just gonna cut soil back. Oh, here. Both stink. So okay, let's do some points here, dude. Can you write it on a napkin and figure it out? <laughs> Hold on. Okay. Well, I'll read them out to me. All right, hold on a second. Let's figure out what we're going to do here. So I think we're going to... Can we mess up his plants here? We've got 12, so if he plays a plant, gets, gets one. We have media archives too, that should help us. Um, huh. What are you thinking? I'm trying to decide, like, what what should we do? That's what I'm trying to decide. <laughs> okay. Why don't we? Who? I guess who's winning? I I don't even know. I, this is where having that overlay would be good, but I think we want to come after. Go Birds has 13 VP. I think he's our competition. And he's got a milestone. Yeah. I think we just, I think we fire off um, this thing. I think we fire this off on the <sighs> birds. A lot of utility. All right. I don't think we're playing some of these other huge cards. Um, 
Did you do the fish last round? Yeah, I did. Okay, good. Yeah, I think we're I think we're losing pretty badly to green. All right, so you want to do the math here? So you, you just write down the columns like. Uh, actually, name it would be easier if I did it. Just because I have control over it all. So let's see here. There's purple, yellow, green. We've got TR, BP, board, milestones, awards. So we're at 44, 38. 32, the VP is 5, can't remember if we have any other hidden ones, uh, 7, and 13. Does this guy have any, uh, He. it's on, who's it on? It's on yellow, so that's the true one. Let's see if he has any negative points here. No. And... Do we have any negative points? No. Okay, so then um, milestones, we have 10. Green has five. Oops. Um, awards, let's assume these stay the way they are. The thermalist is gonna go to green. Miner is gonna go to, is miner gonna go to yellow? Yeah, yes. So green's going to get seven points. Yellow's going to get seven. We're going to get zero. And then um, board. Uh, yellow, uh, green's got one, two, uh, one, two, three. Purple's got one, two. And yellow has one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so as I see it now, the game is 54, 59, 61 for us, 38, 45, 52, 58 for yellow. That's not good for us. <laughs> 45, 50, 60 for green. This is a tight one. Wow. So, um, Oh, commercials already counted on BP. So that means that we're at, we are narrowly winning, 61, 58, 59. We, we should be able to outscore them this round. I, I mean. If we could, if we could score big and, and if, if you're right and we could end it this round, that'd be amazing. So I think we are, we're, like my guess is that we're going to score more points than everybody this round. Okay, landlord changes things a little bit. Actually, landlord is not the worst for us. Who funded yeah. that? Landlord went to yellow. That's actually good for us. We need to catch up. I mean, that that actually yeah, could kill us. I was us. gonna say, like, how how good? <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know about that. We're gonna, yeah, we're probably losing on that actually. I mean, we'll we'll catch up a bit here. Well, okay, so how does that affect the math? So let's say yellow wins that. So he gets another five, so that goes to 12. So basically 58, 63. Let's get, he gets nine, 61. Underground city. It's pretty good. I don't think Underground City is that great, but he probably just had a crap with a steel. Well, it gets him minerals too. So let's play this for some cash back. Yeah, I'm not sure we can end it. So we're going to get. Nitrogen is going to score us. It's as close, but not quite. It just depends on how much is Media Archives getting us right now. It's going to be 
four, not enough. Nine, four, 13, so we're gonna get eight, eight credits. So if we go, I mean, imported nitrogen, God, seems like a must play for us. That's actually good. Oh, wow. That's good for us. They want to end the game. I think that's good for us. I mean, <laughs> not so sure anymore. So hold on a sec. So if we play, we play this, we get four. That's going to put us to, that's going to give us another plant next gen, uh, next generation. Uh, then we play media archives. Maybe we can get convoy down. Dude, convoy's a lot of points. Yeah, it's also very expensive. Yeah. This is a tight game. I honestly don't. Oh, he's got a lot of cash too. Nine cards. Yeah, we're probably just losing the green. Almost certainly, the awards just KO'd us. There, I think. We just we got zero points on awards basically. So he, the he one that tech demonstration possibly means he's digging, which is weird. Uh, it was like a free play for him. So I think we sell a card. Sell a card. Oh, you know what? Oh, no. Yeah, it's not tabulated over. So. Does so what's our plays here? We're going to play nitrogen. Yeah, I know, months and I. It's, it's always this part of the game that just makes me want to quit. <laughs> <laughs> Nitrogen. Okay, let's see how much money we have. We have 37. So we can play Nitrogen and Tropical Resort. That's six more points plus seven, eight, eight more points. What what's thermalistat? Does that screw our thermalist at all? Yeah, we got we got boned on thermalist, unfortunately. Completely. Um, yeah, we just we were off tempo. We took the uh, the heat bump instead of the the air. Mm. So because yeah, we're we're off tempo on that. Unlucky. Yeah, that it was unlucky that he had the the card to get there. But I mean, I, I mean, our our hand was so bad. It's like, what are we gonna do? Like. We, I think we, again, we made the most of it. I, there's not a lot of things. No, I know. Differently. With, with UNMI, you've got to use the ability to have any chance, I think. Okay, so game's ending this round. Wow. So I, uh, 45. Definitely not catching up there, unfortunately. I mean, the question is, 
there's no reason for us to hurry here because we, we don't have a clear shot at, uh, I mean, I guess we could just like standard project a greenery. What? Why? And then follow up with nitrogen. Do we have enough? We would with archives. I'm, I'm just thinking like we need to end the game. Oh, if, okay. I think Dean is essentially out of stop. Um, Birds has a lot of money. I mean, Birds is going to win this game. He's like, just got, he's got Earth Catapult, 11 cards, and a bunch of money. Like, we're, we're definitely losing there. I guess we can just try and get our three points. We need to beat Yellow. Which I'm not sure we are anymore. How many points does Large Convoy get us? Six? Six, but it's 33. Like, that basically is the, it's the end of our thing. Right. Just... Like, this is four, and it's 13 points cheaper. So this plus this is... is these two cards are equal to that. The difference being that large, large, well, large convoy also gets us a plant, right? It does not because it's going to put us at 11. Uh, well, we have one plant right now. Is that what I'm saying? We have, no, we have five and one. We don't have a No, no, that's what I'm saying. The one, one, one greenery or one plant so we're not going to be able to get we're not going to be able to put down a greenery next turn well we will if we play nitrogen that's the whole point Nima. or or convoy right but this this is just like i think it i think it makes more sense for us to standard project a greenery and okay we're just selling a card I, the question Nima, is do we try and take the points off of the o2 if we leave it somebody else might get them but i i it's like whatever i i mean well not just whatever like if standard project greenery is just it costs us 21 credits it's just not efficient for two points when we've got a 4.20 in play and we've got a 13.2 in play so i think we just we sell cards and then if it looks like we have to then we can fire it off let's just sell ai Well, isn't isn't convoy like you get all of it? Convoy's not an ore, is it? Yeah, you get all of it. Yeah, no, you get you, you know you get it's or, plants or oh, it's animals. plants. Oh, okay. Then yeah, never mind. I mean, I think I think nitrogen is definitely it's it's essentially the same. I mean, we could draw cards, I and mean, that's the thing. You you draw a couple cards. Um. The, the one slight advantage of Tropical Resort Nitrogen is that we can use this two steel. So it's like four cash back. So this actually only costs us 29. This one costs us 33. The difference is that we draw two cards with this. Which does that matter? So actually we, would, we could sell those cards. So it, I don't know, it's like if we play Okay, so let's say we standard project 23. That puts us at 15. Then we spend five on. Then we oh. spend five on. Uh, tags are four, five, six. That's uh, 15, 15 credits for five, so we get 10 back. I, I think imported nitrogen is great. I mean, like, whatever. I mean. Okay. I think we play imported nitrogen. Okay. I think I agree. I, I don't, I, like, I think we're splitting hairs here, but I don't think it really matters that much. Like, No, I, I, I no longer think that. I think that imported nitrogen is the right way.
So let's see here. We've got 21. God, we're so close. So what if we media archived? Could we get to convoy? That would be our best, right? So what if we sold these four cards? One, two, three, four. That puts us at 25, 20. Oh, we have enough. We have enough to, to do it, actually. Like, we can media archives. We should do that. OK. So let's go. So we sell one. We don't, I mean, why don't, I guess we just keep waiting to see if we can max out the value. Although the, the advantage of sell of of playing media archives now is we want to soak up those last two points. So here we are, five, ten. We need to end the game, right? Yeah. So sixteen. So sixteen. Uh, we're gonna pay five. We're gonna get net eleven. So that takes us to. 21 plus 11 is 33. So we could actually just shoot off Media Archives and do it right now. Right? Net 11? No, I did that math wrong. 32. Sure. We'd have to sell a card. So let's sell Capital. Oops. I don't think we're selling. Now we should have enough to do it next turn. So we go 22. This nets us 11. We go to 33 and then just shoot up the convoy. That's actually a good play for us. OK. All right, that's good. OK, so we're going to absorb the last two points here, too. So uh, let's media archives. And we'll go ahead and convoy. And awesome. I'm going I'm to take plants here. We have Really? Much, well, we have to because we want to end the game. Oh, that's our only way, huh? Sucks because we're going to be one plant short, but maybe we maybe we get one. We're going to be one plant. Oh, from in the next round. It's a it's one point less, but I don't think we have a choice. Um, I'm going to be pissed if someone someone else plays a plant. Yeah, I probably should have waited to play that. Uh, I I just yeah. didn't think about the actions on it because now he's incentivized to take up that last oxygen step, which is a mistake. Yeah. I, in my mind, I was thinking we would just do it right away, but we could actually play this thing here, Nima. <laughs> Take the last plant. I mean, it's it's high, oh. risk, it's high risk, high reward, but... Um, <laughs> I mean, yes, especially since it's for green. One plant shy, that's annoying. It, it essentially negates the, plant, the, the point. It's... it's there's no point to it. OK, so on. we get two credits back. That puts us at 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Oh, boom, we have exactly enough for Tropical Resort. Nice. Yeah, that's actually good. That's two more points that we weren't expecting to get. So well, Icky Falcone, we had to end the game. So the problem is. We're not winning the next round. Like these guys have huge production, and I know, but we have to end the game. I, I like I. It, it's 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 a if if we're able to convert this plan, it's a one point difference, and it lets us end the game this turn. I I think that um, if we don't convert this plan, then it sucks. So I hope that GoBirds does not convert the plan right now. It's going to be annoying if I just mess that up. OK, good. I'm going to play this plant. And I'll just skip, and then I'll just sell these cards and play. We have 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, exactly enough for Tropical Resort. And we've done our UNMI action, right? Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, I think we lost, but I don't know. I, we gave it a pretty good effort. I'm, I'm not displeased with the way we played. Yeah, we looked at this one here, but the thing is I get, yeah, anything that hits our plant production would make us whiff, and we had exactly enough for Tropical Resort.
All right, so uh, I guess at this point the die is cast. It just doesn't even matter. But I, I think we're we're losing by a handy amount to go birds, unfortunately, unless the guy's just got eight eight blanks in his hand, uh, which he does not. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, whatever, dude. All right, so let's just sell these cards, get our last two points. All right, well, we did what we could do. Um, I, I I hope we get second in this one because we need. I I think we're just completely dead in the in the whole thing if we get third. Um, but it'll be interesting to think about this post game about whether Saturn systems would have been better. Well, probably. <laughs> I mean, get hindsight twenty twenty, probably, yeah. But we we, we didn't know we were going to get past every single multiplier in the game. <laughs> I know, game. and we wouldn't have if we were playing. Also, we didn't we didn't have any titanium production. Like we're, I know. You know, it's not like. Well, that, and that's what I mean is like, was that a bad decision at the time? Is what I'm saying. Yeah, it's it's a it's definitely a reasonable question. I mean, given what we had, I felt I, you know, like again, I'm not an expert UNMI player. Like, um, right. I, I, it seemed like a decent UNMI hand, just in the sense that we had a couple ways to do TR bumps up right off the bat. Um, my awards are essentially set, and we're getting hosed on those. So. Yeah, green might actually win the landlord too. Eh, probably not because uh, yellow's got one more, I think. So that's um, yellow's five. Then six, seven, thirteen for yellow. Got zero. The wards just crushed us in this one. Um, He's got two, five, seven, nine. Board, we've got three, six. Board, not much. Um, yellow's yeah. got one, two, Ouch. three, four, five, nine. Green's got one, two, three, four. And VP uh, ten and uh, eighteen. Now we're going to get crushed by green. So, and then who's conversions? We don't have any more. Regretfully, he's got one more. Maybe another two points. I see he's gonna get two more on board, and he's gonna get one. Go. Plus two. All right, so we're at uh, right now we're at sixty-seven, seventy-three, fifty-eight, seventy-one. Now we're we're tied right now with yellow, and we're. <laughs> Almost certainly not going to have enough cash. And uh, he's going to be at 48. Nine, 71. Yeah, we're, we're, we're going to get third in this one, dude. <sighs> well, certainly a YOLO stream. We're, we're right now we're tied with yellow. God, so frustrating. And we're gonna lose. We're gonna become third place on credits. Oh yeah, there's two points on convoy. Ha <laughs> ha. We're back. Oh wait, we're gonna pass here, huh? It's our turn, right? Um. That's true. I forgot about that. Also, 
He's got negative two points here. Negative four points. Okay, I think we're actually in second. Just, I don't think that those were tabulated. We don't have any negative points, right? Well, playing the uh, probably one of the strongest corporations in the game against one who also had Earth Catapult <laughs> uh, and a pretty good engine. I mean, I, I think that we comported ourselves well. No? Sure. Uh, but like uh, what I'm trying to think about now is like, Taking a strong corporation, even if your hand sucks. I mean, if we take Saturn, we're, there's no way we're double milestoning. So, no. I mean, I, I, I honestly think we did okay with what we had. I mean, what are you going to do? I mean, the guy played the best corporation in the game and got Earth Catapult and a bunch of... I mean, he's a 21 cash production, Nima. Like, we're... <laughs> yeah, you know, it's like, what do you? I mean, yeah. When you're playing good players, like they get a good a good setup, you're gonna get crushed, right? I mean, like, what are you what are you gonna do? I think second place gives us an outside chance, if but we'll certainly have to win the next one. I, I have to look at it. Pro, I don't even know if that's true, but hey, ah, uh, go back. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's about what we expected, but, uh, yeah, that's a solid, solid shellacking there. Well, uh, we could have, we could have nibbled around the edges a little bit, but I don't think any of our players were going to make up eight points at the end. No way. I think the the chance that what we needed was we needed uh, the the yellow player to fund an award that would have been good for us and not him. And like we just were so weak in awards, there was or like fund an award that would have been good for yellow and like essentially not green. Yeah. But I, there was none because we we sucked. Even even that even <laughs> that I don't I don't think that was enough anyway. Yeah, I, I think you're right. Well, I mean if. Um, like if they're imagine an award that green that yellow picks up, um, I mean, so what? What is that? What's the difference there? So like, so Gobert's has 34, 35, and we have take one away left. three from green, give us three. It's, it's nowhere near enough. Yeah, we're we're out we're out of the ranking. Well, no. So if, if, imagine if you took away like one of the awards for green, and they get minus five points, and yellow gets plus five, and we get plus two. Now you're in. Now we're all within just a couple points, right? So, like, the thing was though is that we were just weak on awards. We had no economy. We had no science. Thermalist was like the only thing we kind of had, but these guys had a huge engine going on that too. And landlord, like we got some plans, but late. And I mean, we just uh, there we didn't really have a way to compete on awards, and that was our our undoing for sure. Um, but um, yeah, thread. Well, I'm I'm uncatchable. Uh, yeah, but I do play Omar in the next match, so that's that's the thing is that Omar Omar and I are, are, are heads up in the next match. So, yeah. Um, and well, at least we got second. Uh, that third place that we got is really hurting us too because uh, we missed that one by just a couple points. That you know that was annoying, but um, tough one, man. We uh, we've had some tough we've had some really uh, tough ones in this one. Yeah, we've had a lot of really terrible corp draws. Really bad. What are you going to do? 
Yeah. Um, it does. It does feel like uh, some of these matches we've just been super handicapped. Like the the one that we got that we lost by two points. Like that mining guild hand that we took that we didn't get it like a tile for four generations. It's <laughs> it like okay, um, we still scored 107 points. Like that was a pretty good game for us. Somehow we we cobbled it together, but um, uh, we we're just you know we're playing just corporations that are just strong. You know, like you it's. Uh, Good, it's like it's, strong players too well that's the thing like it's like i love playing with my local group of players when i have kind of a weaker corporation they have strong ones because usually that's it, it's like it's fun you know but when you're playing really good players with good corporations you're you're at a significant disadvantage like it's hard to it's hard to uh, sometimes it's it's not overcomable i think um but sometimes yeah when, when high level players it's with high with high level play for all three players, luck becomes a bigger factor. In terms of with the cards that you get, correct. Yeah, no, I I agree. I agree. I agree because they're you're like good players are going to capitalize on on stuff that's sent their way. So, um, I guess I should say with three players that are all of the same skill, not even necessarily high level, right? No, I think it's I think it's really the high level. It's the combination of three good players because you're like players that aren't that good are just they don't aren't gonna know the combos that are busted, you know? Yeah. So like um Yeah, I, yeah, I guess so. I don't know. I have to think about it. Well, well dude, GG that was it was fun. I it was a little a little uh Oh, God, that opening 10 was just depressing. Um, <laughs> yes. I, I mean, there wasn't a single card that I would have rated a, a B, you know, that we would have rated a B even in that opening hand, I don't think. Nah, it, it was terrible. We Let alone an A. We had no card draw the whole game. We had no economy. <laughs> <laughs> it was a classic UNMI effort, you know? It's like, okay. When you put it that way. I, I, I will give you props. I think the play for the Heat was it was spot on. Like that was great for us. We scored a ton of points with that. Um, yeah. You know. Um, yeah. I mean. Yeah. Uh, I'm I'm not like we just weren't making up eight points. There's no way we needed we needed to be competitive for an award and we weren't. Um, and uh, that's the bottom line, dude. Well, so yeah, let's let's visit that question of like, does it is it with a crappy hand that benefits that doesn't necessarily benefit each hand each corp that much? Is it better to just go with the the better corp? Yeah, but like, okay, so Thread saying he thinks that we would win that one. That's true, but like, um, number one, we would have gotten asteroid mining consortium done with Gen three or two because like that was played as soon as they both had titanium production. We, yeah. we would have gotten ACM'd or AMC'd or whatever. And the other thing is that it's going to change the way that those other players play. Like they're not going to just dump a bunch of Jovians if there's That's a Saturn right. system player. So it's hard it's... to say that. I mean, as it turns out, we drew four multipliers in the game right. or whatever. But like. But that's not even what I'm saying, dude. Like, we I'm didn't not have even any... saying, yeah. I'm not even saying with hindsight. I'm saying, like, given the in information we had at the beginning of the game, did we make the right call? Well, here's my thoughts on that. And, like, I'm not so sure that we would have won that one as, as, as uh, Saturn Systems. Like, okay, so we go ahead. Like, we activated UNMI every single round of that game. Mm -hmm. So we scored 10... 10 points for, or nine points, no, 10 points for 30 credits. Uh, 10 points for 30 credits, plus all the money back on it or whatever. And on Saturn Systems with that hand, like, in, I mean, you, you can go back and do, like, what do we get? But we had no production, right? Like, right. our production all came from, from the bumps that we got to our economy with... Um, UNMI, like, if we had chosen Saturn in that one, like, what would we have done? Just, like, Saturn our cards and done nothing for five generations? Like, Yeah, I mean, who, who knows how that would have ended up? 
Like, so Thread is definitely saying, and Munson's definitely saying that it was should have just been Saturn, period. I, maybe. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm exploring that right now. No, no, I agree. I'm, I'm just being, um, I'm, 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 um, I'm also exploring it with you. I'm just being annoying when I, while we're doing it. I, I, I would definitely have taken IC in, in the vacuum. I think it's just better. IC is sure, much yeah. better than Saturn systems. Like the, okay, okay, let's put it this way. If you take, if you take Saturn systems in your opener without, and you, and you don't have Asteroid Mining Consortium and you have no other production, you've each seen 30 cards to start. After the first draft, you see another 12, 45 cards. So you've seen like, by the second round, you've probably seen an additional, say, 18, because, you know, other cards, stuff like that. So by the end of round three, you've probably seen 60, 70 cards out of the deck. You've seen a third of the deck. Okay. If if you're if you're gonna take Saturn systems with zero production and and hope to fade a one third chance that somebody just knocks you out of the game with the Asteroid Mining Consortium, to me that seems bad. I I, I mean, yeah, I, I think I think I maintain that that decision was really not easy. Um, you know, every, everyone knows that Saturn systems is by far the better corp, but I don't think that decision was clear cut. Plus, plus thread, plus the 30 opening cards that you all get and any other cards that were drawn in those first few generations. Like we picked up the ocean tile for two cards, you know, people draw cards like, so you're, you're in the 60 card range. Sixty car. <laughs> I, yeah, I I don't get that one. No, I know it's right. That's what I'm saying. So like, what I'm saying is, what's the likelihood that another player plays that card against you? There have been they they've seen twenty oh, cards right. plus Everyone. another plus another thirty cards about there. Those guys have seen fifty cards, and you know from your opening ten that you didn't have it. So you're a third of the way through the deck. And hoping that somebody doesn't play that against you, which is just a knockout punch. Like I, you know, it wouldn't be if we had other ways to make titanium production, or if we had a Jovian in our hand, or like something that would allow you to control the bumps. Right. But like, you know, if we play Saturn Systems, those those guys aren't playing all those Jovians. Like they're smart players; they're not going to pass you those cards. Like the draft is totally different. So then you're hoping that you just draw cards that are synergistic or whatever. Like we would have gotten annihilated. Saturn systems, I feel like, but I mean, like we wouldn't have had any production for four generations. No, yeah, well, like it's literally it was, zero. I mean, <laughs> I mean I, like titanium, like titanium mine came in what, like Gen six or something. Oh, dude, look at that! The ultimate respect from Go Birds. <laughs> <laughs> did you ever see uh did you ever see uh um uh days of what, what's that one with tom cruise the uh, days of thunder or something oh yeah sure <laughs> with like his his uh his apprentice that turns into his arch enemy that's go birds dude dude good job good job man Went, well done well thread i'm saying the production that we had was from our unmi bumps that was it i mean that was what we had yeah, I, I I just I wanted to explore that topic. I don't think we did the like in a vacuum. I don't think we made the wrong decision. Um, but who knows? It's it's it's. Well, the other thing is like we're not winning a long game against IC with uh, Earth Catapult, right? Like uh, you know, like that that's just not you're not winning the long game. Saturn's a long game corp. I mean, we didn't know they had IC. That's hidden information, but like. Um, Mm. Yeah, that's that's those are a good point. I mean, that is true. <laughs> that's true. I, I mean, I don't know. Uh, thanks, Goberts. Yeah, we, we're uh, we're we're likely to pick that up. So, oh, so oh, Nima, I've been meaning to tell you. So, do you remember on the um, 
there was a comment in one of um yes okay if do you remember in the uh um when we did one of the card review things someone wrote in and said hey you missed these five cards or whatever and i was like right. what because i went and alphabetized them so it turns out that the set that i bought many years ago was it was a known thing that some of the sets didn't come with seven cards really yeah and so i sent an email to stronghold games and told them that i want them to give me my cards but i said it nicer and they uh, give me my cards and so they're gonna send me the uh, they're gonna send me the uh the thing what the hell that's wild i didn't know that so we have a few to make up but when we get them also kg that's a good point i didn't consider uh which is that you're right amc hurt saturn at least because of the bump to the economy that is that is true I had not considered that. Um, it's not quite as bad. Well, I, I, I don't, I don't know if I hundred percent agree with that because, like, it's one of the innate benefits of Saturn systems, right? Like, it, you, you get allocated a certain amount of benefits when you choose a corp, and it's as if you had played a titanium mine or something, right? Do you know what I mean? Like, right, but what KG is saying is that normally when you get asteroid mining conversion, it's plus three for the other person and minus three for you. Yeah. And, and when you're playing Saturn systems, you get a bump to your economy by one because it's a jo Jovian tag. So it's a minus two to you instead of a minus three. I see, yeah. Um, I, mean, I mean, like I think about the difference between uh, Asteroid Mining Consortium and uh, Mining Consortium, and like Mining Consortium just doesn't feel that good to me. It's just like AMC. There's something about that card because it's there's a point on it. It's a Jovian tag which has utility, uh, and it's just a minus three plus three is such a huge swing. I mean, it's it's like well, well yeah, it's because the the space tags are the ex most expensive cards in the game, right? Yeah. So if you lose your big economy for space cards, it hurts worse than the the building cards because they're generally cheaper. I mean, Munson, Munson's comment here is actually an interesting one, which is like, if you have a totally crappy hand, do you just go with the corporation that could be KO'd by AMC, but if you get it, it could also be awesome? I mean, that's reasonable. Um, Well, yeah, that's that's part of what I'm trying to explore right here. No, I don't know. I mean, Thread's a better player than I am. I, I suspect a better player than you are. So if that's if that's what he would have done, it's probably the right thing. I mean, I, you know, UNMI is literally the worst corporation in my opinion, and so <laughs> and Saturn is a kind of middle of the pack. I mean, the problem though is that I, I just don't find Saturn to be that effective against good players because, you know, like they just don't. You, you, usually you just don't frivolously pass Jovians and and then you just have to be like it, like obviously we saw all four of the multipliers in that game given one of them there were two in one pack in, in, at one time but we could have had three and you know like you just don't know that and that's pretty lucky to see three you know yeah. so um, I agree with, with good players you are lucky to see that many multipliers yeah Thread's Thread's point is you take you take Saturn and then hope you get AI, but we didn't know that we had AI, right? So no, like, yeah, you, so, that's the thing. Like you do that. What I, that's what I'm trying to say is like you can only do so much hoping based off of your first hand, right? Like you 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 cannot. To me, you cannot base your opening strategy on hope, right? Oh, Thread's other comment is actually very interesting as well, which is, I, I agree with you, Nima. I'm, I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm sorry to cut you off. Um, you, you're right. Like, you, you, at some point, you have to make a decision about risk-reward. But Thread's comment is also really interesting, which is that this is true in a lot of card games. It's like sometimes you're getting past good cards, and you're like, oh, my God, how did this card get past to me, right? But those people are also making a calculation like, oh, my God, I can't yeah. pass you know, this thing to this Jovian player. And that is a huge impact of Saturn systems. And that sometimes you get past good cards that are just like, you didn't see what they took instead of the card. Yeah. I right. mean, I mean, let's be absolutely clear for the people in the chat. 
I definitely think Saturn Systems is a way better corporation than UNMI. The thing is, with that hand, we had the first two generations of UNMI locked up. So I knew that we were going to be able to SP and bump and then play the thing and bump. So we had, for the two generations, we had two, three, four, five TR planned out that we could use on UNMI. And then you hope that you get something. Um, KG Highlanders thinks that Saturn and Vacuum is top three corporation. I let's, Let me think about that. I would take Credit Corps and IC and Mining Guild over all, all over uh, Saturn systems anytime. Um, I would take Terraptor. And Mining Guild, you said? Oh, yeah. Mining Guild, yeah. There's a lot, usually a lot of tiles. I love Mining Guild. I would take Mining Guild. I would take, uh, let's see here. I so I would take Credit Corps, Teractor, Mining Guild, and uh, Interplanetary Cinematics all over Saturn Systems. I would definitely take Saturn Systems over Ecoline, Thorgate, Obolog, UNMI, except for this game, <laughs> and Helion. I, I think of Saturn Systems as a middle, as a middle of the road. Interesting. I mean, gonna have to up, update our. Wow, Thread thinks that e Thread thinks Ecoline is good. I just never figured out how to play Ecoline. Wow, I have never heard that. Interesting. The thing about so the KG, the thing about Ecoline, or I'm sorry, the thing about uh, Mining Guild that I like is that there's just way more steel targets than space cards. So like you're. If you're if you're opening up into a vacuum with a poor hand, I you're I mean mining guild is definitely a glass cannon. There's no doubt about it. But there's just so many more cards that synergize with mining guild, and and you're so likely to get builder with it because you start with those two building tags. Like if I took Saturn system in this game, we'd also be negative ten points. Like I, I guess we'd we probably would have gotten planner just because our hand was so slow. We would have we would have stockpiled for planner, but we never would have gotten terraformer. We would not have gotten mayor. Uh, we wouldn't have gotten um, greeneries and not builder. So I don't know. I, I think mining guild. The strength of mining guild partly is because builder is so consistent with mining guild. Yeah, maybe. Well. I don't know that you have landlord necessarily. Like, um, Tharsis is landlord for sure, but Ecoline on its own, like you, you need to get good city cards in your hand to get landlord as well. And then you know, I, I think Ecoline is heavily dependent on getting uh, protected Habs too. Like that's. I mean, if if we had had eco line with that hand, we would it would have been busted, right? right? I mean, all the, well, not maybe not busted. We didn't have a ton of early plant production, but we had protected halves, and we could have definitely, like, I think eco line would have been stronger for sure in that oh, setting. Hundred percent, we would have taken eco line. Yeah. I don't know. Well, interesting yeah, game, uh, yeah. Nima. I'm proud of you. I give you 11 out of 10 S if you're trying to go for entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was a fun game. We got a second place. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's tough. Um, we, I think we will be live on the next one, but we have to win, and we may need the other person to get third because um, we are playing our, our competition in that last one. Um, well, I'll see. Yeah. Well, thanks everyone on YouTube for watching or Cardboard for Mars on Twitter and Twitch and all the things, whatever. Just look us up. All right, Nate. All right, dude. Uh, thanks everyone for watching on the YouTube channel. Tell us uh, how Nemo went wrong in this game. And <laughs> uh, I would love to see that in the chat. <laughs> all right. We'll catch you on the next one.